Do you want to know what it's like to do a long range commute through New York City in the freezing cold on a Super 73 RX Mojave that has the torque update? Stay tuned because that's exactly what we're doing on today's ride vlog episode. Good morning, everyone. This is Ivan, and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a long range commute from Queens through Brooklyn. I've actually never taken this path into work. I don't have to be in the office until a little bit later. So I'm taking advantage of the fact that I have some extra time. It's been an abysmal month in New York City where it just feels like it's been raining and raining and snowing and raining. So, it's been a while since I really had the opportunity to do a long range ride on the Super 73. It's not that the Super 73 is not water resistant to rain. It's just, I find it easier to clean the NAMI than it is to clean the Super 73. Today is a freezing cold Sunday when I checked before I left the house, I believe it was in the mid 30s, but the wind chill was in the 20s. Now it's not as cold as that day I went out in minus 10 degree weather, but it's still pretty cold. I took some of your advice and I did the wool socks directly on my feet in my uh, winter boots. I've also picked up a down thermal layer for my legs to wear underneath my pants. So thank you everyone for, that suggested those. They've been super helpful through my last couple of uh, commutes and they make commuting in the cold a lot, a lot more bearable. <laughs> Ow. Oh God, the roads really do suck here in New York. Ugh. You know, uh, actually, I want to take a quick moment uh, to thank all of you for helping the channel get to 300 subs. Holy cow. We were able to go from 100 to 300 in the same time that it took to get from zero to a hundred. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And I truly, truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you that have subscribed, that have dropped a like, and have left a comment down below. It's It really means a lot to me, so thank you. And I look forward to having you along with me on our journey to a thousand subs and then beyond so thank you everyone if you watched the the video on my ride vlog for on the scooter you know that i had an accident with the insta 360x3 where it kind of wiggled its way out of the mount and it flew off and it fell on the street and it actually almost got hit by a car. It really scratched up the lenses and it really dinged up the case. Though I am shocked on how little damage there was on the camera, it was enough to basically ruin the the video quality because it had a big scratch right in the middle of both lenses. The moment this happened, I actually contacted Insta360's uh, customer care because I paid for the uh, insurance just in case anything happens to the camera or lenses. And they responded right away. Shout out to, I believe it was Zoe uh, at the customer service. 
that made the whole experience like amazing. Like she was very, very responsive. She was very understanding and she was asking all the right questions to kind of figure out what went wrong and to figure out what they can do to fix it. They just suggested that I send it in for physical inspection and then uh, they were going to take a look at it and then go from there, see what repairs needed to be made. I was expecting this process to take, honestly, a month. I've worked with a few tech companies before on warranties or insurance claims and it takes an extremely long time. And so overall, from the beginning of me contacting customer care to having the X3 back in my hands was literally only two weeks. <laughs> and, you know, I, throughout the whole process, Insta360 was in constant communication with me. I didn't feel like I was in the dark at any point during this uh, warranty or insurance claim that I was doing through them. And at the end of the day, I only missed one episode where we only had the single perspective of the, of the ride. And that's amazing. Like I said, I'm extremely, extremely, extremely happy with Insta360 and how they handled the whole situation. Without a doubt, I will recommend Insta360 to all my friends. So Insta360, if you are watching this video, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for getting this work done so quickly. You guys are the best, y'all are amazing, so thank you. And by the way, <laughs> this this video is not sponsored by Insta360. We are now cutting through Williamsburg, Brooklyn, uh, on our way down to the Brooklyn Bridge. We never take the Brooklyn Bridge, one, because it's far as hell, and then two, it's far as hell. <laughs> but, like I said, I was, I was feeling good. The X3 is back. So why not take advantage of it? And regardless of neighborhood, that's the one thing that never changes. Weird ass traffic patterns and random buses. Right, so this is uh, Kent Avenue. It's got one of those hyper bike lanes that have been created around New York City, right next to the shipping yards. So this is pretty cool. I think they did a great job here because they really separated the, the bikes from the pedestrians. See, when New York City decides to try and actually implement the solution, you know, it's, it's pretty good. This is, uh, I feel like very Euro. So New York City, if we can just keep this up throughout the rest of the city, it, it would be amazing. I will say this is quite nice. Like what they, what they have done here. I, I feel like I should take this route more often because it's, it's kind of stress free. <laughs> Can I even say that in New York City? It's it's stress-free bike riding. This is this is really cool. This is really cool. You're probably wondering why we pulled over, because I had to double check my navigation because I've never been, I've never really ridden through this part of town before, so I'm not quite sure 
where I'm going. Brooklyn, downtown Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bridge, make a right. Okay, we found our way to the Brooklyn Bridge. I need to take a second here to adjust my face mask again. Okay. And we finally found the Brooklyn Bridge. I'm gonna turn off the navigation because we no longer need that. And from here, we're just gonna make our way uptown once we're in Manhattan. So, everyone, welcome to the Brooklyn Bridge bike path. This is only the second time I've taken this bike path. And I hope you guys can enjoy it. It is quite narrow, but the view, in my opinion, is pretty, pretty dope, especially this part. You're probably wondering why we're pedaling so much. That's because I've really been enjoying the, uh, the pedaling aspect of the, of the Super 73. And of course, we have a pedestrian on the bike path. So like I was saying, I, I really enjoy actually pedaling the Super 73. I know it's pedal assist, but When I'm not rushing and I get time to be able to kind of chill like this, I like pedaling the Super 73. I'm probably gonna need to uh, reduce the, the sprocket size in the back in order to get uh, more uh, pedal feel at the higher speeds. It's Cause like right now at 33, hey, look at that, 33. At 33 miles an hour, we are ghost pedaling, so not too fun ghost pedaling, but still keeps the legs moving, right? And just like that, welcome to downtown Manhattan. We are next to City Hall. and financial district. And now you see all the pedestrians making their way to that famous walk. All right, so I said we didn't need the navigation anymore. I lied. <laughs> I always forget that it is, oh my God, are you even gonna look? You're gonna, uh, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I am one of those New Yorkers who gets lost downtown. For those of you that don't know, the city is mostly a grid and downtown it's more like an explosion of uh, craziness. Ooh, what is this? And oh, okay. Navigation is sending us through Chinatown. You know, I'm super familiar with the neighborhoods as we get uptown, but once we're down here, I don't know what's going on. Just like the way that guy did not know what was going on with his life. 
I guess we'll use more of the throttle now that we're we're in traffic. Take advantage of that torque update. See, on weekends, New York City can be a pleasure to ride through, but for the most part, I'm gonna say no, <laughs> it is not. Oh, look at this. We've made it through to Union Square. I am going to make an executive decision here and veto going up this direction. And I'll tell you why. Last time we went up this way because of all the construction, we ended up with a flat tire and I had to carry this freaking bike onto a cab. So we're going to say, no, we're not going to do that. And we are going to go through this way instead. Now, sometimes we got to change it up, right? So got to enjoy the city a little bit more. And with that being said, I want to thank all of you for accompanying me on this ride through New York again today. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on board. And I hope you enjoyed the new route. Now, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel get out there. Leave a comment down below. And if you really liked this video and you've liked the content that I've been making so far, I would appreciate it if you would hit that subscription button. While you're at it, make sure you click that notification button so that it notifies you anytime that I release a video. And I look forward to having you as part of the Ivan Rides family. As always, thank you for the support. And from here on out, I'm just going to not say anything and we'll just continue cutting up town.
All right, so everyone, now that that little experimental section is done where we just had straight ride footage, let me know if you want me to keep that in the videos going forward. Thank you, everyone. I will see you on the next ride.